What is up, you guys? It is me again. Uh, I'm wearing the uh, deer skull ring that my parents got me for my birthday of last year, sometime in June. They got it as an early birthday present for me. For uh, My birthday is actually in November, um, which was cool. And this ring right here is solid gold crossbones. And this right here is... It reminds me kind of like a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of type. Um, like, like uh, because Pirates and Pirates of the Caribbean movie have their, like, their skeletons and um, the Star Patch kind of reminds me of a pirate kind of, pirate kind of ring. Um, so, uh, anyways... So, this video, uh, is going to be about the long-term consequences of people's actions if they continue to re re refuse to get saved. Alright, so, you know, the only way to salvation is through Jesus Christ. Jesus paid it all 2,000 years ago on the cross. He died a horrific death for us so that if we accept his gift of eternal life for us, if we accept the free gift of eternal life, we can have it. But there's a requirement for it. Repent and believe. You have to repent of all your sins and then you have to place your faith. You have to believe in with all your heart that Jesus Christ is is who he says he is. He is the son of God. He is God. He, uh, he, he, he was born of a virgin. He lived the sinless life. You know, you have to believe all that, not only that, but you have to believe with all your heart that he died on the cross to save you from your sins. And he was buried and God rose him again on the third day. And you have to confess him as your Lord and savior. And after you do that, you will be filled with the Holy spirit. If you truly, truly believed. So, um, there are people in the world who know how to get saved, um, or if God sends his children, his born again Christians, you're not a child of God until you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Then God, the father becomes your father. He's your creator, but not your father until you invite in the son. Um, God's messengers will go to people who are not saved and preach the, the, uh, the way to salvation through Jesus Christ, what Jesus has already done for them. Um, so that's why we have to get the message out there, how people can get saved and from hell and have everlasting life in heaven with God and with Jesus. You have to believe in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. They, they hear the news, they hear the, the way to salvation, but they choose not to believe it. Or they say, okay, I, I'll choose to believe that later. I'll put it off for now. I'll put off salvation for now, and I will do it later. They're like, I, I know I'm going to hell if I don't get saved. I know I'm going to go to hell. I just don't want to give up my sins yet. I just don't want to have to stop doing my sins. I, I want to continue in my sins. They feel good. Um, mm, mm, mm. You know, later for them could only be a few days, a few hours. They could die in a car accident or something, and they're they're risking their eternity over something they call later, which they have no idea when they're going to die. Only God knows. So that's why today is the day of salvation. Get saved when you have the chance, because if you if you have the chance to get saved, you're going to heaven if you get saved. But here's the thing. 
if you put it off, you don't know when you're going to die. And once you die, and if you're not saved, it's too late. Forever. Um... So let's talk about long-term consequences. You know, people who are drug addicts, people who abuse drugs or abuse alcohol say, hey, I, I, I'm, they're, they're just starting out with them for the first time in their life. And they're like, hey, I'm going to do these drugs, blah, 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 blah. People would tell them, the, uh, the uh, warns them about the long-term effects. And they're like, oh, well, I don't care. I don't care until it happens. I don't care until it happens. It's... Until it happens, I don't care. Sure, for sure, for some people, uh, for a lot of people, it doesn't happen right away. It does take a long term, long time to uh, happen. But once that does happen, they're in so much pain and agony. If they have liver failure, if they have uh, uh, some sort of kidney failure, and uh, are in excruciating pain. They had the chance to stop it, but they chose to not wor- not to worry about it until it happened. Well, now they have, uh, this is an example, and it, probably a lot of people do this though, for real. And now they're, they're in their deathbed, in hospice, because they're, they're we're talking about maybe years after they're, they've been doing stuff, um, if they live that, even live that long after, while doing that stuff, um... They're in hospice on their deathbed. They had the opportunity to stop what they did when when they heard the warnings. But they chose not to. They chose not to take heed to the warnings and chose to wait until it actually happened. And then they decided to regret it. They decided to wish that they never had done, messed with that crap in the, in the first place. Or at least took the warning and then stopped or gotten help if they couldn't stop. Like rehab or get saved, get like a higher God, higher power, which is God. So that's that. Let's talk about people who put off salvation saying, I know I'm going to hell. I know I'm going to hell. They give me warnings. They tell me how to get saved. They warn me that if I don't get saved through Jesus Christ, if I don't believe in him, that if I don't, if he's not my Lord and savior, if I'm not saved, then I am going to hell for eternity. Well, I don't care until it happens. I don't care until it happens because I love my sins. I love the darkness rather than the light. I hate the light and I love the darkness. I, I, maybe someday I'll choose to love the light and hate the darkness. But as for right now, that's not the case. That's what they say. And guess what? They put off salvation. They say, I'll do it later. Not thinking about the consequences, which is hell. Um, until they're actually there and they die a few days later in a car accident. And then they they wake up in hell and say, Hey, I didn't know my time would come so soon. I didn't know my time could come so soon. When I said I, to that Christian, I would put off salvation. I, I said, I meant I would put it off for many years. I didn't know I was going to die so soon. I thought I had another 60 years to live at least. They're like 20 or something. Um, and then they regret it, completely regret it. They're in fire, burning, screaming in agony, in fire, no water, no sleep, being ripped and torn apart by demons. 20, Bill Weiss, 23 minutes in hell. Um, watch his testimony. It's horrific. Again, we should think about now. If you're unsaved... If you're unsaved and you're this type of person I'm speaking of saying, Hey, I know the way to salvation. I just want to stay in my sins a little longer. A little longer could only be a few hours or days for you. So get saved because that's my warning to you from God. If you wait too long, you might not survive. And you might not have the ne- that chance to get saved. And you will wake up in hell. And you will be wishing for all eternity, wishing that you had 
the chance to be saved. Romans 10, 9, for if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, believe it in your heart that God rose him from the dead, you shall be saved. Or you could just say this, Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Please, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all the sins I've committed in my life. Jesus, I admit to you, I am a sinner in need of a savior. I cannot save myself. I believe Jesus Christ, that you died on the cross to save me from my sins. You were buried and God the Father rose you again on the third day. I ask you, Lord Jesus Christ, to please come in my heart. I accept you as my Lord and savior. In your name I pray, amen. It's, it's that simple, you have to believe with all your heart. You have to believe with all your heart that he is who he says he is and that it's the way to salvation. If not, you're not going to heaven. So do this now because, you know, a lot of people who say stuff like, I'll do something later. I'll do it later. Die pretty quick afterwards. So please, I urge you, if you're this type of person I'm mentioning, talking about, get saved now because if you say you put if you say I'm going to put off salvation because I want to continue in my sins I want to continue with the drugs I want to continue with the alcohol I want to continue with lust and for, fornication and pornography blah 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 for years I want to continue with that because it feels so good you might not have years but days or less than that and every breath that you have is God giving you a second chance through his everlasting mercy. He's giving you a second chance. Mercy only comes when on the wicked for when they're alive. After a, a wicked person dies, there's no more mercy from God. Please, guys, this is insanely important. If you, you know... It could just be very... God is keeping you alive every day you wake up if you're unsaved. Because he knows your eternity if you're not saved. So he's keeping you alive for the opportunity to be saved. Please heed my warning. Because some of you watching that are unsaved right now and you're saying, Oh, he's mentioning... I'm that type of person that he's mentioning, but... I know that I have years left until I die. Many years. And then you end up dead a few days later. You guys, so... It's that important. So I hope you guys enjoy.